not a lot of good news came out of 2020, but our farmers have reason to celebrate. The drought has broken, with heavy rain bringing towns and properties once on the brink back to life. The grass is green, the livestock well fed and the rivers are finally flowing. From 2020 storm clouds came a silver lining. It quietly weaved its way south from Moree through Menindee to the Murray, filling farmers with hope. The rain has been absolutely amazing and has transformed the landscape for our farmers. These were the very first flows down the River Darling. And with a bit of time, beds that were biscuit dry for more than 18 months were again healthy and full. Without water there isn't life and we've certainly had our fill in New South Wales and we've needed it. A lot can happen in 12 months. This time last year New South Wales resembled a moonscape in the grips of one of our worst droughts ever. 38 communities were just days away from running out of water and now that number is officially zero. We could have run out of water in cities like Dubbo in Tamworth in Foster in Taree. The drought is over. Farmers flooding social media with before and after pictures. They've never been happier. We've got beautiful, wonderful grass. It's been raining lots and our cows are now fat and happy. Rain has brought life back to every corner of our state. Bumper crops on once dusty plains filling up our food stores. Once empty dams transform. Wildlife is back, birds filling the sky, pelicans are full from feasting. Our outback is healthy. While rain has finally healed the state, we will see drought again. Authorities stressing we can't forget all that we've learnt about conserving and protecting water, our most precious resource. We've got to make sure that we use this time to carry on investing in the right things so that next time there's a drought, we've got much less risk to the system and towns are able to continue to thrive and prosper. What we know is that we'll have extra rain and we'll have extra droughts and we've got to be prepared for both. But for now, it's wonderfully wet. Serena Andaloro, 7 News.